Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a random Dollar Tree haul for you. And by random, I mean the things are just random. Sorry, I've got a cough drop in my mouth. Allergies are killing me. And I do want to mention, I've been messing with the monetization on my channel to try to get a better balance. And I did get a message that there was excessive amounts of advertising. Can you let me know if that is an issue? I can't tell myself. Um, or I don't know how to tell myself how many advertisements are playing, but I'm trying to come up with a good balance. So if you could help me out, that would be great. All right. So I went to the Dollar Tree because that's what you do. And I found some fun, just random stuff with fun things, um, like this. Hello. Now, they're selling these exact same ones, different color rainbow, a more pastel rainbow at Target in their, like, pride section for $3. It's the exact same fan. So, I grabbed two for two of my friends, or one for me and one for a friend, but I'm telling you, take it to the beach. This is a good fan. They have other prints, too, but I like the rainbow, and it's plastic. So I grabbed a couple of those just for funsies. Um, to go with those wooden picture frames I hauled last week, um, like I said, we're, we're doing a family kind of very quiet vacation at the beach. We rented a condo. We're going to hang out there. Um, if you saw my vlog yesterday, my cousin Debbie and her daughter Addie, her husband Eric, and son uh, Riley. And we're just going to be chill. But I grabbed Addie these paint pots to paint those frames and then some a set of cheap paint brushes and we can just throw them away before we come home. But I thought that would be something, a nice quiet something she could do in the evening. And I think she said she was going to bring some, pack, some um, canvas with her as well. So I thought these would be some fun colors she can use to paint those picture frames. Ooh, I better put this that way for vacation. Um, I grabbed a pack of Glad sandwich bags. Um, guys, this came with 29 bags in it. That's not bad for a dollar at all. I am trying to, like, not use a ton of freeze or uh, throwaway stuff. But there are situations that I need bags. So, And so a lot of times I use them for storage in my craft space to keep things separated. So I'm not throwing them away. I'm reusing them. But sometimes you need them. Um... Although, I should show you when I pack for the beach what I'm taking uh, for my lunches. So, the cousin Eric and Riley, they're breakfast eaters. And I eat breakfast later in the morning, but our plan is to get up and go hang out on the beach all day. So, I'm going to pack a lunch, like a late breakfast, early lunch with me because I'll get hungry for that before everybody will be ready for lunch. It's just when you travel with people everybody has to kind of just do their own thing so i grabbed at target in the dollar spot a bento box and a lunch bag that it'll fit in and i'm going to pack that up for the beach every day so i don't have to reuse plastic bags and stuff and i'll show you all that well we'll do a packing video of what i'm taking to the beach how about that okay in here we have oh i've got all kinds of stuff over here I have, I grabbed some strawberry drink mix. And I mentioned in every video, I pick up several boxes of each flavor for the summer. And then, because the good flavors are typically going to be gone here soon. Even now, they're scarce. So when I see a new flavor that I don't have, I grab a couple. And then, I don't buy them anymore. And that'll last me all summer. And then I picked up these ball jars. I don't know how many ounces these are. I want to say this is an eight ounce. Could be a six. It's definitely not a four ounce. Oh, it is an eight ounce. It says on the bottom. Um, now, this is not a canning lid. It's a lid, but it's not a canning lid. Um, so these would be great for your spices, the spice blends that I make. These would be fantastic for that. I got these because I want to try building cheesecake and bake in the jar and I'll get canning lids for storing them because I can put them in the freezer and then have individual servings of cheesecake 
of my keto cheesecake. So I grabbed seven. I think they only had seven. They had seven. Six I'm going to use for cheesecake. One I'm going to put on my new desk. That's I get to pick up today from Ikea. I'm so excited. As soon as they message me and tell me it's ready. It should be ready by 3 o'clock. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave one of these on my desk with like paper clips and stuff in it. And like I said, this is a standard size canning lid. I just need to get the actual canning lids. This, I don't think is, well, I know it's not for preserving, but I think these rust, so I really don't want to use these little tin lids around food, but they would make fantastic Christmas ornaments. You could stuff them with something and put a little scene in there, and that would make a great Christmas ornament. Keep that in mind. I saw them at one Dollar Tree these were in the kitchen section which is where I would think to find them but in my Dollar Tree here in Reynoldsburg they were with the candles and stuff so I don't know but this is ball brand mason jars it's a real thing you can cook in them you can can in this as long as you get the right lids now if you bought a dozen it is cheaper I think they're nine dollars for a, no they're twelve dollars for the eight ounce for the dozen so this was a good deal a dollar a can a jar the four ounce I know is $8.99 at Walmart for a dozen but these are the eight ounce jars which I think will be better for a cheesecake cheesecake in a jar and then I can freeze them and then they'll stay fresh so I grabbed those I found something super fun and I'm assuming this is for a wedding it is like ceramic and it's like, it's a place setting, but I think I'm going to use this at Thanksgiving. Now, I only bought one because I have other things like this, but I wanted to show you. You can use a dry erase marker, but you can also write on this material with a black or whatever Sharpie. And to get it off, you would take nail polish remover and then just wash it with soap and water. They're place settings, or you can put it on a buffet and put like turkey, cheese, whatever, or on a charcuterie board. I just thought these were fabulous. Any type of like label. You could also do the sticker. Now, is this a Dollar Tree brand? Um, I don't think so. No, yes, this is a Greenbrier. Now it says it has an easy peel. Let's see. I don't think so. Oh, oh, yeah. Sort of. Yes, it is an easy peel. It's not coming off easy, but it's not leaving the residue behind. So, I'm going to put that with my, like, I have a tote in the garage that I have all my table setting stuff for when I get, when I entertain, which who knows when that will happen again. But someday. Okay. These are for... Uh, a Christmas gift that I'm doing. Remember, I'm putting together. This is double-sided tape, which is great for your paper crafting. This stuff works pretty well. I've used it before. And this is Pop Dot. Pop Dot. It's um, thick. You see how thick that is? It makes things stick out. And this is great tape. I've used this too. And it comes in, and these are three different sizes. So you have thin, medium, and thick. I'm sure on here it's a three pack, multi size. It doesn't give me, but I would say that's an eighth, a quarter, and a half inch, if I had to guess. So, eighth, quarter, half inch. Again, great for scrapbooking, paper crafting, any type of mounting tape is what I call this. Uh, but it, it makes it stand up because it's thicker. So, I grabbed two, one of each, and this goes into a Christmas basket that's going to be for an advent calendar. I found these from Job's. They're organic fertilizer spikes. Um, different than the other ones. These are organic. They have a different shape to them. And this is all-purpose spikes. Uh, for container gardening. You can put them in your bed, too, in your flower bed. So I'm going to try these in some of my plants over here. I have the other ones as well, but these look different and more green, if that makes sense. So we'll try them. Worst case, that nothing happened. I picked up for some crafting, and I'm not sure which project this will make its way into. Um, okay, 
Okay, come on. But I like these are candle holders, but I like that they have the straight side so they're easy to decorate. But I feel like this would also make a good pen holder on your desk. And I think I have an idea for this, but it's glass and it has a really nice heavy bottom, which is why I think it would be a good like pen holder for my desk. I've taken one of these before and put eyes, like the eyelashes and the nose and the mouth and I put my makeup brushes in it. And that was fun. But I have an idea for this one. So there'll be a DIY coming out in a couple days with that type of stuff. Oh, they carry my Gatorade Zero in the, this is Glacier Cherry. I like this flavor. I just keep it in my fridge and it's the same price as it is anywhere else. So it's not a better deal, but it was very convenient. I grabbed some of these sugar-free candies for my trip. They're not the best for me, and I try to only eat, like, one. Because even though they say they're sugar-free, it still has 30 carbohydrates in it. So we may not be eating any of these. But we'll see. It was an idea. And then the last thing I picked up is a sponge for, like, car washing. I want something flying. But look at the color. It's green. Oh, there it is. It's a plastic baggie thing. To wash my car. Or really anything. Actually, I want to take my trash can outside and give it a good scrub. So I'll probably do a, a bucket of Dawn dish soap and some warm water. And then I can take this outside and scrub my trash can and things like that. But I'll open it up. It's a nice soft sponge and it's a nice size and I love the green swirl. So that, friends, is everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree this week, which I'm pretty happy with what I got. Not a whole ton of stuff, but all new stuff. I love these. Should I do a Oops, wrong way. Oh. Come on. All right, so here's what you do. You hold it like this, and then you go... Hold on, I'm still getting it ready. These are fun. And if you have any outdoor activities coming up... Oh, this one came unglued. I'll have to glue that one. Okay, be a little more gentle with these. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But the, I, I have to retake glue one. But if you have any outdoor activities coming up, these would be great for summer. And like I said, they had all different prints. So that is everything. And if you have any questions, post it below. If you could like and subscribe, it really helps out my channel and helps me bring you more content. All right, guys, have a good one, and I will talk to you later.